before I let you go, there's one last story I'd like you to tell because I was I'm reading Jeff Perlman's new biography on on Bo Jackson. Your name popped up in it. And yeah. and you so you met with Bo prior to his drafting in the NFL as a member of the Buccaneers. Is that a true story, yeah. Steve? That is a very true story. Hugh Culverhouse, the owner at the time, we had become friends. I don't know that Hugh had a lot of friends. Mr. Culverhouse had a lot of player friends, and mm-hmm. and uh, and we and he called me and said, "Hey, I'm we're going to go to dinner with Bo Jackson. I need you to convince him to to come here because he wants to play baseball." Mm-hmm. And uh, I said, great, that'd be awesome. And so we went to dinner and he says, at some point I'm going to get up and leave. And then you got to sell him. You got to tell him how great it is, you know? And like, I don't know how great I'm going to tell him it is, but I'm going to tell him, I, you know, we need, we need you. I need, I need some help. <laughs> and uh, so you've got the appointed moment. Hugh Culverhouse excused himself from the table. And then I was up, you know, I was like, I got to convince Bo Jackson to come to Tampa. And I started to, I literally started to speak. I got maybe one word out. He goes, bro, don't worry about it. I'm never coming here. <laughs> <laughs> that did happen. That's true. He said that to you. <laughs> so true. Absolutely true. And I was like, I didn't, I was like, Bo, what? He goes, bro, don't worry about it. It's not happening. <laughs> I'll never be here. It's never, uh, you know, and he goes, I don't know how you, and he goes, what are you doing here? <laughs> I, go, I don't have a choice, bro. It's called the draft. Wow. That's how it works. And uh, he goes, well, I got choices. So it ain't happening. And that was it. Did you break <laughs> the news to Culver House later on that that's what he said? Or did yeah, you... I, I th- no, Bo, you know, I don't know if you know Bo very well, but Bo is the kind of guy, because we've become very good friends mm-hmm. too. And Bo, Bo is a, what I'll call a straight shooter. Yes. Bo does. So he was like, so then Mr. Holvers came back and he said, look, I'm never, I'm never coming here. And that was it. He told that to Culver House when he got back to the yeah, table? Yeah, like, not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> not happening. Uh, how awkward was the rest of the dinner, Steve? I mean. It was rough. It was rough. It was <laughs> rough because I, had to, you get the I check? had to face the music of, look, this is a tough pl- place to play right now. It was tough. It was I mean, you got some great human beings down there, James Wilder and Jimmy Giles, and some great guys, and they were just pounding their head against the rocks. It was just brutal. It was brutal in every every direction, and uh, and uh, you know, knowing that Bo could come and help us, and uh, I was like, "Oof, Bo's Bo's not coming." All right, that's it. <laughs> oh my gosh! Check, please. Right, check. We'll take the check. <laughs> Go get the car at the valet. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.